which was actually start of how I came to working with hemp lime because it's a structural material used in architectural field for building. Hemp lime is a really, really cool material. It's a prodigious material. I think that it's, its properties are are crazy. When I was reading about it from the start, I was excited and skeptical at the same time because the narrative around it is almost miraculous. It will sort everything. It's carbon negative. It's it regulates moisture. It breathes. And once you start working in it, it convinces you on its own. The nicest part is that it's a waste product. It's waste product of obtaining the fiber that's more lucrative. You use fiber for making bioplastic in the car industry. And then you are left with herd that's now used as a lining for horses and cattle. So it's, it's not really a lucrative material, but that's what makes it quite av available and cheap. I guess the beginning of my work, some kind of motto is that I believe that the spaces are made of objects, with objects that made the room up. And my my practice, I refer to it as making, really making objects. And the main incentive is to make beauty, to make beautiful spaces and beautiful objects. I like to think of myself more as a carver rather than modeler. Most of the time I am carving my work out of already harder material, which is also something similar to hemp line since I cast a primary form and then I'm shaping it up. Okay, with the hemp line, this is my favorite phase of working is the second time I plaster it because then we already witnessed the metamorphosis of the material from this grainy bio texture that I am actually not personally attached to at all. That's part of the work that I'm trying to achieve is exactly this shift from hippie looking material towards something more solid, monolithic, something that, as I mentioned, more speaks to the standards of beauty. That I, as an architect, was trained to look at, or I also think that it's demanded and I don't think I should shut an eye to. So it's already, when I see hemp line being closer to being a purely limestone, or a stone on its own.